All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Notifier AFP Test 8, Gentegrity. So to begin, we got some uh, cool devices up today. Right here, we have the Notifier LNG-1R Dual Action Press Then Pull Pull Station. Going up, we have the EST Integrity, and this will be doing code 3 at 110 candela. Coming over here is the Gentex Commander 3, and this will be flashing at 30 candela and sounding code 3 electromechanical horn. Coming all the way down here, we have the Killark XAL-53 Explosion Proof Pole Station. We'll be doing that one today. And then, same smoke, we will be, there it is, we will be solo testing that detector today. Over here we have the Federal Signaling uh, MPS-14, let me make sure I did that right, MPS-1R, my bad, MPS-1R dual action, open and then pull, pull station. And then we have the System Sensor L-Series remote strobe, and this will be going at 30 candela, 75 candela, I'm sorry. So to begin, I think we'll just dive in and start with the notifier pull. So in three two, one. And we'll go ahead and reset the pull station. So do that, you just put your key in, turn, and put it back. All right, oh, I might sneeze. Whoa. There's the sneeze. Nope, one more. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. Nope. Yep, who knows. Okay, then let's head over to the explosion proof pull station. This is a pretty cool one. Just kind of sucks because it's got such a deep back and such a special mounting plate that I need two boxes on it. I have a single gang and then a four inch square and then an adapter plate that I specially made for this pull and then the pull itself. So uh, it comes off the wall pretty high. So, let's go ahead and pull it. Lift and pull ring. Go ahead and silence the alarm. Then we'll come over here and reset this one. To do that, we need our really tiny Allen wrench. Get it. And we put it in a little screw. Back the screw off. Push the button in. Slide up. Bring the set screw back in. And then close the door. And we will go ahead and do a system reset. I have two more modules for this panel that I don't know what to do with. So if you guys have any recommendations of some cool stuff you'd like to see on this panel, like, you know, this one has tons of stuff. It's got the door holder system, all kinds of controls on it. This one's got the little trouble light, but not much on this. It's got some external silences and stuff. The only thing this one has is the fan, but if you guys can think of any cool things to do with the modules, let me know. I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions because I got two more sitting that I'm not sure what to do with. But anywho, let's come over and do the federal signaling pull station. So we are going to open 
and pull. We'll go ahead and do our controls from the enunciator and we'll reset the pull station. So to do that, you just put your key in, turn to reset, handle comes back up, and close the door. And then we can come down here and issue a reset from the enunciator. There we go. And we can go ahead and solo test the uh, detector we got up here. Uh, which one should we do? Saber or solo? Let's do saber. No, we just did saber. Let's do solo. Okay, we'll stand over here to not get the other detector. And now we play the waiting game. It's doing something, it turned off or it died. That's hilarious. That's fine. Come on. Oops. Okay, we got a pre-alarm warning. We accidentally set off the other panel. Yeah, I'm going. Hush with you. Shush. Your head's back in. Put reset there, right? Yeah. That's annoying. So you did see we had the pre alarm. We got to 76 of what it needed. There's my pre-alarm, and we have surpassed, we'll be going into alarm. We'll silence that. We'll give the detector a second clear out. That was a stubborn detector, did I? We got the fan going, clearing out that. Our strobes are flashing rather bright, it hurts. But it's fine, all in the name of science, I guess. Now let's try a system reset. See if we'll get one or not. Cool. And I think we'll end this video by doing a fire drill. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.